Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're playing Modern because I want revenge. This video is brought to you by Dragon Shield. Check out the affiliate link down below to help support the show. So we have me on Team of Rhinos, a tempo deck that uses Cascaders to flip into Crashing Footfalls, this time without white. And Cam's on Jun Saga, a revamped version of Jun Midrange that uses Urza Saga for late game value. <laughs> both go to six not a free seven not a free seven i wonder how much this new version of your deck runs removal do you want me to tell you the changes to the main deck if no, you new team okay. i'm pretending like we're in a tournament and i don't even know what you're playing like i've heard of you from an lgs and i have a hunch you're on a rhinos build yeah but last <laughs> time i all. played you it was a four colors rhinos yeah, deck that's so. what you're expecting yeah are you ready and you're on the play i'm in the play wonderful let's go Scalding turn pass. All right. Ooh, I get a draw, though. Okay, that's not what I wanted to see. Catacombs and Fetch Blood Crypt. Oh, did I forget that you were a Thoughtseize deck? I am a Thoughtseize deck main deck, but I'm also a Ragavan deck, too. Excellent. I will pass. In the end step. Crack. Stomping Grounds. You're down to 17, too? Still in the end step. Yep. Dead. Ah, Target rats. your Ragavan. Two damage to it. Untap. Upkeep. Draw a card. Let's play an Island and pass the turn. In your upkeep. Okay. Before you draw. I'm going to cast Fire and Ice. Oh, ice mode. Tap nice. your land draw a card that's devastating time walk go ahead okay well luckily we at least have a tapped overgrown tomb for turn and then i will pass Tap. upkeep draw card wooded foothills pass turn cool all right get a draw expectation is that you have a violent outburst cast a another ragavan i will pass fetch in the end there is no rhinos coming no rhinos coming but only because i choose not because i just like i don't feel like it like i don't want to right now you know? i can't i don't I believe have you i have it. yeah i i don't believe that anymore <laughs> catch your triumph is land that i will find tapped i already got my damage would you like to cut do no more game actions in your end step and untap fire islet cast shardless agent cascade yes. trigger yep. Here's a crashing footfalls. Nice, okay. Foot? Foot, foot dive. Two rhinos? They have trample, don't forget. Yep. That is all that I have. That's my game actions, pass turn. End step, I'm gonna fatal push a rhino. Because it has zero mana cost, it is destroyed immediately. I will go to my turn and I can draw. Let's play a Tarmogoyf. Pass. Untap, draw a card. Attack you with my rhino. Block. Uh, understood. My rhino is dead. Your Tarmogoyf has four damage marked onto it. My second main phase, I will cast ice mode. One damage to here, one Whoa, damage to there. Oh, that's great. Okay, yeah. And that's it, pass turn. You mean five? Fire. You said ice, but you mean you fire. You are 100% correct. I apologize. I mean fire. Yes. Fire and no damage. attacks with Shardless Agent? I already attacked with the Rhino to get damage on your You're absolutely goif. right. You did. Oh, man, okay. I'm glad you didn't cheat. Honestly, I thought a lot about this play. It felt good at the time. Looking back, I wonder if I should have just tapped your Tarmogoyf down, drawn a card, and got in for more damage to keep my Rhino around. I have no threat anymore. So even though I get rid of your stuff, I'm a tempo deck. I feel like I need to have like a, my, my threat in play. Otherwise, it's all for naught. Yeah, my whole basis... Uh, uh, for this matchup is get rid of anywhere from maybe four to six rhinos. If I can get through four yeah. to six rhinos, I can win this game very easily. All right, I'm going to draw. I'll play another land. That feels awesome. And now we can't lose this game. Let's crack a Verdant Catacombs, a basic forest, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I'm going to Force of Negation it, pitching this Mystical Dispute very quickly, which seems like a bad use of, like, I, I'm so close to being able to hard cast. It doesn't matter. I don't have any blue cards, so Mystical Dispute I was just so feels bummed bad. to put this in my main deck. I'm like, oh, this is in the main deck of all these decks now. Oh, I'm playing a non-blue deck. <laughs> I think the thought is like three mana mana leak is still okay. But one mana mana leak but is mana where, leak where is you want to be. Yeah, go for it then. Uh, untap. Draw a card. Two damage coming at you. Take two. I haven't been drawing the swellest. I have this crashing footfalls that I will suspend. Four suspend counters. Pass turn. Why didn't I tap at the stomping ground? The, those little mistakes make me furious. Draw. You have one card in hand. One card and it's really good. Mythic rare. I will pass. Untap. Upkeep. Hold up on your upkeep. I got a trigger on this on the stack. In response to that trigger, I think I want to put you in top deck mode. I'm going to cast a Culligan's Command to destroy an artifact and make you discard a card. That's really good. Let me think about it for a second. It makes me feel like you don't have a three mana fairy to flash in or you don't have a violent. You certainly don't have a violent outburst. Three mana fairy to flash in. What the, could that mean? The one that bounces has petty theft. Because you can still, you could have cast it on your end step and you didn't. Three mana fairy like is a planeswalker? It's a sorcery? F A E R I E. Your three mana fairy. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> I thought you were saying like three fairy, it's like to fairy. Nine a.m. <laughs> <Not really. laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I took the light out of the deck. What do you mean? Yeah. Let me. I'm just wondering if it's worth it for me to draw a card right now and then maybe choose which card I discard and perhaps keep this one. No, I'm just gonna discard this fury. Ooh, and nice. destroy the Charlotte's agent. Go to my draw after this gets removed to counter. Yep, I officially have the threshold, so now my graveyard is a pile. Awesome. That's my rule. Once I hit threshold, I don't want to stack my graveyard anymore. Now it's a pile. I hit the fifth land finally. Good timing with your, your commands. Pass turn. We got there. All right. I'll get a draw. I will cast a Tarmogoyf. Yep. Pass turn. Untap. Draw card. Uh, you get a... Okay, Thank you. Missed my trigger, but yeah, I get it. <laughs> Still, because yep. the judge didn't see it. Yep. Yeah, pass turn. Friendly game. Okay. Yo, Bobble. Bubble. Crack Bobble. Take a look at this card. I'll show it to you. Oh, sorry. I should have asked. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. That's good to know. That's good to know. I'll get a draw on your upkeep. New Goyf Count Artifact Creature Instant Land Sorcery. I have a, I have a sorcery. Five, six. Let's come at you for five. Take five. Do, 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 do. Play another one. That's good. Pass turn. End step, Violent Outburst. End step, Violent Outburst. Cascade Nice. Trigger. That was a good draw. Foot. Foot. Make two rhinos with trample. I guess maybe I should have double done that before blocks and double block there. Then you kill one of my rhinos. I'm not sure. Go to my turn. Untap. Upkeep. On your upkeep, I get a draw. Remove a counter from foot. Draw a card. Sacrifice to draw a card. Yep. The fiery eyelid. Pass turn. Draw for turn. Play Pete Land as land for turn. Pay three mana losing a life to cast a Liliana of the Veil. Mm -hmm. Minus two targeting you. Sacrifice a creature, please. Sacrifice one Rhinocerai. Go to combat. Uh, attack with a Tarmogoyf. Five, six. Pick up sticks. I don't know how I win this game. I think I take five. I'll take five. Pass turn. In your end step, I'm going to cast fire. One damage to Lily, one damage to you. Tarmogoyfs are six sevens. I think I should have tapped the Tarmogoyf here again, too. Fire and ice is, for some reason, a tricky card for me. Untap. Upkeep. Crashing footfalls. Cast. It. Make two more rhinos. And you have a ton of rhinos. Draw card. Six sevens. Yes. Six sevens, stairway to heaven. I'm going to fetch. Go to five with my wood of foothills. I will find basic mountain. Attack with my rhino. I'm going to take four. I just you'll still need an extra blocker, so I'm still going to cast it second main and deal out, put all the four damage on Goyf and pass turn. On your end step, I'm going to bolt it. Sure. Draw a card on my turn. I feel like I just have to make you double block and then just way put you behind on rhinos. Yeah. I have to block each. That's what I mean, double chomp. Yeah, so I'll attack you with these two. Dead rhinos. And then I will cast a Renin 6. Yep. Up on Renin 6 to 4 to return a Verdant Catacomb. Yep. Wow. You don't play Bolt. Can yep. Dead Gone hit me? No, but Fire and Ice can. No, but Fire and Ice can. And we've gone through how many Fire and Ices? Already three. Already Are three you put fire, dead to fire and Ices. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. Let's play Verdant Catacombs and just pass the turn. On tap. Upkeep. Draw a card. That's not it, Besage. You. you are victorious. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I was debating on do I go down to four life to also Definitely cast not. Fable? Definitely not. And I was like, I'm no. dead. I'm dead either way. Like, yeah. It, it exactly. only puts you dead to something. Right about now, I'm regretting taking the white and leyline binding out of this deck because Tarmogoyf is beating the shit out of me. Should we sideboard for game two? Hell yeah. So for this game, I brought out my three lightning bolts and my Riveteer's charm because I don't know about all the cards in your uh, new deck yet. And I ended up bringing in two duresses to help with the violent outburst. I brought in an engineered explosives, and I also brought in a shield with the apocalypse, because it's a 4-5, which is bigger than rhinos. And for this game, I took out the two mystical disputes, because no blue. I took out three furies, because Tarmogoyf is big, and they don't really do kill multiple things very often. And I also took out a gemstone caverns. I put in three force of vigor to help get rid of the Urza saga and fable and things like that. And I put in three blood moons to also help deal with Urza, but I'm not sure if that's correct. I don't know. Cool. You're on the play again? I'm on the play again. We're gonna we're gonna test this out. We're gonna see how it goes. Cool. Go for it. I got a Misty Rainforest and a pass of the turn. Alright, I got a draw. Mishra's Bobble. A blood crypt into a I boarded this in. Duress is only good against half of your cascaders. Uh yeah, it resolves. You see that I brought in Blood Moon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see that you brought in Blood Moon. Yeah, I'll take the violent outburst. Gone. I'll also crack the bobble. I get to look. You brought in that? Jesus, fuck. Okay, yeah. I can't tell if you're tricking me or not. Go for it. I'm curious. I'll draw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have said anything. I get a draw in your upkeep. Weirdly, I didn't bring in that. That's the swap in the main deck. That's in the main deck. Oh, that's dope. Play a basic island. Pass my turn. Draw. Bloodstained Mire and crack it. Go get a basic swamp. Shit. Get some cards out of your hand. Cast a Ragavan. Understood. Pass turn. End step. Fetch. I really kind of wish I could get the forest, but I'm not gonna. Find the stomping ground. Go to 17, still in the end step. Cast dead on your Ragavan. Ragavan's dead. Untap. 
upkeep, draw card. Play this Ottawara Soaring City. I'm just gonna pass. I'm not gonna play oh. it. Okay, I'll draw. <laughs> nice, well I'll play Averted, and I'll take the opportunity to go get a basic, play a forest, and run out a Fable. Ooh, I have a response. Yep. Hard cast, Force of Negation. This nice. feels incredible. Awesome. Pass turn. Alrighty, untap, upkeep, draw card. Scalding Tarn. Crack Scalding Tarn. I'll just get a second island. Fuck it. Which feels like so terrible right now. I'm going to cast Murktide Regent. I will pay for it. Three mana this way. Four mana. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Delving these cards. Yep. And out of those, three of them are instants and or sorceries. So I will uh, have it enter with three counters if it resolves. Cool. Yep. I don't have anything. And then pass turn. Murktide seems like a pretty great addition to this deck. It's also helpful that it like dodges a decent amount of your stuff. Like all of my stuff. Well, not all of it. <laughs> like Inquisition of Kozla and Fatal Push. I can't believe I took out Riveteer's Charm. Cool. All right. I will draw. I'll play Urza's Saga. And I will cast a another Fable. Make it 2-2. Two, two. This game would be going much better if I had the first Fable. And then I will ink away your Blood Moan. Yeah, you ink it. It's inked. All right, now my Urza Saga will stick around. Pass turn. I'll untap. Draw card. Go to combat. Yep. Attack you for six. Two, three, four, five, six. Play a Fiery Islet and pass the turn. All right, on my turn, this will tick up and Fable will tick up. I'll discard Overgrown Tomb and yeah, this Fatal Push right now. Nice. Play a Blackleaf Cliffs tapped. Let's attack you for two. Before you go to combat or before you declare, I'm going to shock it now. Cool, shocked. I will pass turn. I think it's okay to do this now. In end step, I'm going to crack the Fire Ally 2, draw a card. Untap, upkeep, draw a card. Combat. Yep. Take you for six. Take six. <laughs> Crashing football suspended. <laughs> That's funny. Fucking thing. Not where I want it. Four counters, pass turn. All right, end step, I'm going to make a card instruct. Untap, upkeep, draw pluses. So this happens, and then in response to this, I'll make another construct. This happens. So I'm gonna go get Shadow Sphere. I'll cast a bobble, and then I will equip Shadow Sphere to the construct that is not summoning sick. And then I'll go to combat, and I will attack you. One, two, three, four. Take four? No, it's because it gets Because it gets one, one more. Yeah. I'll untap. Upkeep, remove one counter from Crashing Footfalls. Draw card. Wooded Foothills. Crack. I'll find a basic mountain. Cast this fury. I have to kill this. I'll put all the damage on the reflection. Reflections is dead. I'll attack you for six in the air. I'll take six. It looks like a six to me though, so don't you go to zero? Uh, no, I'm at three now. Shit, okay, pass turn. Go to my turn. Draw. Play tapped cleave nice. cliffs. Attack you. Yeah, I'll take five. Cool. Back up to eight. I will equip this here. And then pass turn. Keep it tapped. I mean, why do you tap it? Because <laughs> it's with the creature. I no, feel it like stays it untapped, though. No, <laughs> that's stupid. No, it's been used. Is that's what tapping Honestly, means? Yeah, it's that it's been it, used. Yeah, that does make sense. But I'm flavorfully right. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, move a counter from foot, draw card. Good combat. Yep. Attack you both. Block fury. Understood. First strike damage. Boom. Three damage to it. Yep. Uh, regular strike damage. Yep. You take six, and then we kill each other. Yep. And then, so I take six and gain five. My guy dies, your guy dies? Correct. Pass turn. My turn. Draw a card. Equip. Attack. Take four. Yep. I will K command make you discard deal two to you. I will respond by casting force of negation, targeting it on the stack. Cool. Yep. That sounds good. It's exiled. Go ahead. Untap. Upkeep. Remove a counter. Draw a card. Scalding turn, pass. Dead land, okay. I guess I should have maybe held this. Draw. Land, pass. Untap, upkeep, crashing footfalls. Yes. Make two rhinoceri. Yep. Draw card. Attack, six damage in the air. One card in hand, pass, turn. Draw. Ink. Respond with a fire and ice, tap this, draw a card. All right, I lose the game. I have fatal push in my hand, yeah. <laughs> you you see this with Inquisition, of course, like. All right, well, I'm glad I saw Merc Tide because I have to change Do you one want to of the cards differently? that I, uh, yeah. Great. This, this card has to come back in. So I'm bringing back this Riveteer's Charm now that I know that there's this big stupid dragon I have to deal with. So out's coming one of the duresses in case I see a artifact creature in hand. Having the counter spill for that Culligan's Command was super lucky, and I was able to get away with the win just by the, what's this expression? S skin the of my teeth? The suing of your teeth, yeah. The suing? Yeah. That doesn't sound right. Okay. Game three. Game three. We got a hand, folks. Excellent. We got a hand. Are we both on five? We are both on five. You're going first, right? Yep. Let's see it. Black Cleave Cliffs into Inquisition. Take a peek. Yeah, Violent Outburst. We'll take it. <laughs> draw a card. Catch your Triumph tap to pass turn. Nice. I will draw. Bloodstained Mire. Crack. I guess let's go get a Swamp. Because what am I going to do? Not play around Blood Moon now that I know that you have it? I can uh, dash in Ragavan here, and that uh, will certainly help. I guess that me by me saying that will certainly help, I guess that means I shouldn't have gotten a Swamp. But it's going to help either way. I'll attack with Ragavan. 
No facts. Take two. Yep. Treasure. Wooded foothill is gone nice. forever. You lose a wooded foothill. I didn't want to draw it anyway. <laughs> End step. This bounces. On tap. Upkeep. Draw a card. Misty rainforest. Fetch. I can afford to get a basic island. I'll pass and stop you in your upkeep. I will ice down your black leaf cliffs and draw a card. Nice. Honestly, more for the cantrip than anything, but... <laughs> I will cut you, and then I will draw for my turn. Let's crack the treasure. Cast Goyf. Son of a bitch. Pass. Land sorcery. Instant. 3-4. Untap. Upkeep. Draw a card. Deck. I really appreciate that. I'm going to play this Wood of Foothills. I'm going to crack it for a forest, and I'm going to cast Charlotte's nice. Agent. Nice. <laughs> cool. I just want to really thank you for that deck. I, I really needed that. <laughs> <laughs> Cascade Trigger. Crashing Foot Falls. Two Rhinocera. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's play Foot Hills and crack it for my forest. And let's cast an explosives for zero. Fuck off. Do you have a force? No. Aha. Nice. Okay. Hard cast Ragavan. And then I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw card. Combat. Mm hmm. Tackle two rhinos. Yeah, I'll pop it now. Misty Rainforest. Suspended Crashing Footfalls. Pass turn. Draw. Let's Thoughts Ease you. I'm going to fetch. I'll find a basic island. I'm just going to hard cast Force of Negation. Okay, yeah. You're going to probably take it anyway. <laughs> Gets exiled. Thank you, yes. Attack with Goyf. I'll take it. Take four. Go ahead. Untap. Upkeep. Move a counter. Draw a card. Fiery Islet. Crack it to draw. Pass. Cast uh, Fable. You got it. Make a dude. Combat. Combat. I'm going to tap down Goyf and draw a card. Zoop. I'm actually kind of incentivized to attack. Yeah, still. It makes your thing bigger. I yeah, I'll block. Cool. Trades. Pass turn. Untap. Upkeep. Remove counters. Draw a card. Play Misty. Cast Charlotte's Agent. Cascade Trigger. Wow, that was good. Yeah. Crashing footballs. <laughs> Jesus. Nice. Two rhinos. Yep. Two rhinos. Go ahead. Draw and then plus up to discard two lands and draw two completely new cards. Card's so good. Card's so good, right? Let's cast a Shadow Sphere. Fucking A, bro. Yes. I will equip it to Goyf. Also, yes. Pass the turn. End step. Crack this Misty. Steam Vents, shock it to nine. In your end step, tap down your Tarma Goyf, draw a card with ice. That's pretty good. Cool. Uh, untap. Mm -hmm. Upkeep, remove a counter from foot, draw a card. Combat, it's definitely these two. Just these two. Cool, I'll take eight. Breeding pool tapped, pass turn. My turn, this fable flips, and I draw. Actually, I, it, those things happen in the other order. I think I'm going to double attack, get a treasure. Either way, I can only soak up two damage because that has trample. So I will block here and say, what do you do to me? I deal six damage to you then, and I gain six. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep, remove the counters, cast the foot, two more. I have to beat six rhinos this game on a multi five. I have to beat one Tarmogoyf on a multi five? <laughs> Card attacks. Eight trampling damage. Fatal push one. Fuck me. Take four. You got it. Okay, go. Show me, do your worst. All right, end step. I will crack this treasure, make Jund mana all together, and I will cast a Riveteer's Charm. Exile the top three cards of my library until my next end step. You may play those cards. Yes. Here they are. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Draw a card. Play Stomping Ground. I will have it untapped. I'll cast another Fable, make another 2-2. Two, two. Go to combat. At the beginning of combat on my turn, I will tap and make a copy of this Tarmogoyf. Yep. Which is still a 5-6 pickup sticks. And I will attack you with a 5-6 pickup sticks copy. Just the copy. I will attack you with both of these things. So four blocks. Force of Vigor, Destroy Shadow Sphere, and Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Cool. Okay. Goyf's pump because now enchantment is in the graveyard. Great. <laughs> Blocks. Two dead rhinos. Two dead rhinos. Pass the turn. What the fuck do I even do here? I should put Blasphemous Act in this deck. Yo, Blasphemous Act. I could. That, that would be good right now. Whew. That is a hot draw. Yo, you did draw hot. Holy fuck. Am I still dead though? No, maybe not. All right, cool. I'm going to cast Murktide Regent. I'm going to exile these five instants or sorceries. Uh, put five counters on Murktide Regent. That thing's huge. It's huge. I still have to hang back and block, right? Because if I attack one, I'm dead. So pass this turn. Draw. Play an Ursa Saga. I will make a copy of Tarmogoyf. I will good combat. I will attack you with two Tarmogoyfs. I have to block both. Great. Rhyhorn dies, and I'll end up losing. Go to my end step and lose up both my creatures. Then. Cool. Go ahead. Untap. Upkeep. 
how many Fire and Ice have I played? I only won this game. Let's see. You have one in hand? Yep. Part of the cards. See if I can rip Lucky twice in a row. Drop. Pass. My turn, Urza Saga pluses on my draw slot after this, and then Urza Saga. I'm playing Urza Saga. Let's make a construct. I'm going to make a copy of the construct. And I will attack you with this goblin and the construct making a treasure. I have to block the construct because it's big. Take two, you go to one, and then I pass the turn. I'm gonna get one more shot here. Draw. Fuck. Attack you. I'll take eight. Pass turn. Okay. Um, untap, upkeep, draw. In response to these triggers, I will. I'm dead. I'm dead. You got it. I have nothing in my hand. I drew a dead. You can just attack. Oh, you me. drew a dead, yeah. yeah. Even if I even if I block, you just attack with three creatures and I'm dead. Yeah. Cool. I, my hand was shit. It was yeah. I just had to rely on what was on board. Good game. Good game. We got there. This matchup seemed close here. If you see our Chill Twin videos, you'll see it was not quite as close. I think this Jun deck is just, uh, it's, it's good. You, I, I, I like it against me, or rather I don't like it against me. It's, I think you're, the mix of Thought Seizes plus big Tarmogoyfs is like a good way to interact with my deck, I feel like. Yeah, I definitely agree. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is also a busting card. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our $100 patron. Young Mox, AJ Alvosebi, Demon of Rosgrees, Waja A. Hamid and Baby G Bus. If you want to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. And if you want to pick up any of the Pride merch, the Gay to Win merch, you can do that at our bonfire store down below. All the proceeds go to the Trevor Project. Huge shout out to Dragon Shield. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Make sure that you use our affiliate link to get all of your magic accessory needs fulfilled. If you want more content, you can check us out on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Also, Young Mox is an MTG rapper, so make sure you check out their SoundCloud in the description below, too. Let's talk about our $50 patrons. Patrons, Dan, Stashy, Mitchell Shepard, yeah, Justin, Mom so Long, Big of America, like Steve Hames, Flick D, CP15, Dad Green Guy, Desire Bliski, Pedro, C, Jacob Tap, Michael Ballou, Young Wild Old Fan, Thomas Boyle, Swappy McGee, Lloyd Connell, David Nelson, Sean Thank you, y'all.